Welcome back to our program. And today we are going to talk about self-control. And I would like to start this talk by sharing uh, science experiments that happened many, many years ago. It is called the marshmallow experiment. So what they did is they brought five years old kids to the table and they just basically put a marshmallow in front of them. And they will tell them, if you wanna eat this marshmallow right now, you can get it, there is no problem. But if you wait, I will come back and I will give you two marshmallows instead. It was really interesting because some young persons just grabbed the marshmallow and ate it and no problem at all. But some of them, actually they decided to wait. Now this experiment actually went for 16 years and after 16 years when they needed it to take the SAT, they realized and they evaluate which were the young people who did better with the SATs. And they realize that the young people who did better with the SATs were the young people who were able to control themselves and not to eat the marshmallow. Now, why is this so important? Because basically this study is telling us that when we know and we know how to control ourselves, we actually will do better in life. And I wanna bring this experiment. Now, I have a soda right now here. What happened if I shake the soda and I decided to open? The probably most sure thing that will happen is this will become a mess, I will become sticky, and we'll have less uh, soda to drink. And basically, everything will be just out of order in a sense. But what happened if I bring the water and I shake the water as much as we can and we open the water? Nothing, nothing will happen. And I believe that is how we can actually be self-controlled. We can control ourselves, trying to be like the water. If you notice, sometimes this is difficult. In our lives, we have this duality. We don't know when there are some parts of us who are bright, like my face right now with the sun, and there are some parts of us who are dark, that we believe darkness, you know? But what is interesting is we have the opportunity to choose what we want to become. And self-control is something that will help us. Now, what I do to, to, to apply or to use this self-control? Number one is I never make decisions when I'm upset. I try to calm myself down to understand what is happening. Number two, I think about consequences. What is going on in my life? What is going to happen if I do this? And if I do that, where is that taking me? And number three is I always take time to reflect about what, how my life has been and how I have been able to control myself or not. So I think those are three points that will help you out Definitely, I believe that when you know how to control yourself, your life will be successful in many different ways. And this is basically the point that we will start these different talks. We will talk about masturbation, relationships, sex, and all those type of things. And understanding that self-control is the key aspect of all of it will help you out. So my challenge to you is, let's up apply self-control. How can you control yourself in the different moments of your life? when your mom is yelling at you instead of you yelling back, or with, you have a friend who is just being mean and, and, and whatever you wanna call it, how can you control yourself not to get out of who you are, who you really want to be? I hope to see you soon and thank you for watching us.